All right, all right, all right. I'm Mel Nation. We got one more minute left. Lines are getting packed out. We got an amazing seven figure events to call for you. All roads leading to Las Vegas. Make sure you got your pen and paper ready for tonight's call. All right. We got another minute. Wow. All the people. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. We got the party going here. Let me turn this off. All righty. Well, super excited to be on the seven figure mentorship call uh, with each and every one of you. And uh, <laughs> yes, Kobe Bryant has got the Oscar. Awesome. Uh, he says, record the call. All right, let me see if I can get this call uh, recorded here. Uh, that's the chairman, chairman 50 over there. Record. All right. It's recording. Uh, record. all right. Good deal. Good deal. All right, guys, I've got all bars here. Can you hear me okay? Can everybody hear me all right? Let me know if you can hear me. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I won't be able to read the chat, so hopefully uh, our connection stays good. I'm in my home. I've got all bars, so hopefully your connection is, is good. Uh, but I want to welcome each and every one of you to tonight's Seven Figure Medicine Call. Uh, I want to say thank you to, obviously, Chris Terry uh, for putting this call together. Uh, Isis Silatori, obviously, and Alex Morning Bonds, Javier, our VPs of Sales. Uh, Alex asked me to do this call here uh, tonight, and uh, obviously all roads are leading to Las Vegas. If you're going to Las Vegas, go ahead and type A88 in the chat. If you're going to Las Vegas, go ahead and type that in there. 888, you are going to be there live and direct in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the Rio. This is where we really start. This is the takeoff of I Marcus Live. This is what we call the rise. We've been uh, really kind of getting things together and working some kinks out. And, uh, but I think now we're ready to start the rise of this company. And what I wanted to talk about on this call tonight uh, was obviously the power of belief in motion. Right? The power of belief in motion. And, the way to really talk it, the really for you to really understand that it can really be summed up in one word, which is called momentum. All right. Now, I Markets Live is not in momentum right now. I want you guys write that down. I Markets Live is not in momentum. We're nowhere near momentum. A company hits momentum when they have reached a quarter of a million active customers in the network. That is when momentum starts. Well, right now, we're right at 60,000, 60,000, a little over 60,000 customers. So we've got about another 190,000 customers to go. Now, the goal is to get that done in 2018 by the first quarter of 2000, uh, 2019, okay? That is the goal. And then that will start the process of momentum. We will be uh, really in full momentum by 2020. I want you to write this down. Mark my words on this. That is when it's going to happen. I, I talk to the leaders all the time. I said, listen, it's really early. We're 18 months in. We got started October the 8th, 2016. So 
We haven't hit the two-year mark yet, right? Some of you have been in a little bit longer uh, than that. The majority of the folks that are on this call, you've been in this business for two years or less, all right? Uh, so momentum really is going to start. The, the beginning of momentum is going to start uh, when we hit a quarter of a million customers, all right? I want you to write that down. This is not my studies. This is not my theories. This is studying company after company after company, experts in this industry of network marketing that have tracked companies' growth. They have realized, okay, when did they go into momentum? And I think it was about eight or ten out of time, eight, eight out of ten times, it was when they hit the quarter of a million mark, all right? is when that company was able to go into momentum, all right? So, but we are gonna talk about it right now so you can understand what creates momentum. I was talking with my incredible daughter last night. She is too smart, just ridiculous. And uh, <laughs> we were talking and I said, well, what are you learning right now in school? And she was talking about uh, physics and talking about momentum. I said, well, familiar with that word from a business standpoint, not so much from a scientific standpoint, all right? Um, but we were talking, and, and I said, well, tell me about momentum. What is momentum? I want you to write this down. This is what, what my daughter gave me yesterday. She said, momentum is the measure of velocity, all right? It is the measure of velocity times multiplied by mass, okay? So momentum momentum is velocity, which is obviously what? Speed, right? Times matter, all right? Times matter, times max. Well, I, I was talking with them and I said, well, I, I'm going to try and put this into business terms. Or I said, I'm trying to put this into business terms. And she said, yeah, daddy, I, I get that. I get that that's what you're trying to do. It was, just, it was, just, it was priceless to hear my little baby tell me, yeah, dad, I, I get that's what you're trying to do. But anyway, uh, the, the momentum is created by velocity, which is obviously speed, times matter. So I asked her, I said, can human beings or human beings matter? And she said, yeah. So from a business perspective, momentum is created by the speed in which, all right, and this is also a moment, in the direction, the direction, which is the velocity you're going in, the speed in which you're going in, times the mass, times the matter, times the amount of people. Right now, we are in the process of creating momentum. We're creating momentum with the speed in which we're moving in the business. We're creating momentum with the velocity in which we're sharing this information, the velocity of the testimonials uh, that are happening right now. Go ahead and type 100 to celebrate IML hitting 100 chairmen in iMarkets Live. Go ahead and type 100. Let me see that. Make sure Everybody can hear me fine. Type 100 in there. That's what I'm talking about. 100, 100, 100, 100. We got it done. We said we were going to have 100 chairmen in the company, and it is completely done. So that direction. Now watch this. Momentum is created by a focus. Momentum is created by a focus because the velocity in which you're moving, there has to be a direction. There has to be a target. So I want you to write that down. If I'm going to create momentum in my business, the very first thing I've got to do is I've got to have a target. All right? The very first thing I've got to do is I've got to have a target. If I'm going to create momentum in my own personal business, in my own personal action, then I'm going to say to myself, I'm going to personally enroll five new customers this week. Right? So now I've got the target. Now I've got to create the momentum. I've got to create the velocity, the speed, the speed in which I'm making phone calls to my prospects, the speed in which I'm doing presentations, the speed in which I'm setting up appointments, the speed in which I'm doing three-way calls. Instead of me making 100 phone calls over the six-month time frame, I'm going to make 100 phone calls in three days. Does that make sense? So now you're creating momentum because you're doing it much faster and you're adding more matter. You're adding more people, more mass into that process. So it's velocity times matter, velocity times the masses. Does that make sense? What is momentum? Momentum is the measure of velocity times matter. Now, what creates momentum? All right. I was asking these questions. It says, darling, 
What creates momentum? She says, well, the increase of mass and or velocity. So you want to increase the momentum in your business. I, Marcus Live, wants to increase it, right? Wants to create, wants to cre increase the creation of momentum. We're not there yet. We're heading towards there. We're going to get there very, very soon. But what it means is we've got to increase the velocity. We've got to increase the speed in which we're getting people registered for the convention. We've got to increase the speed in which we're getting presentations done. We, and guys, if you notice what I do from time to time, I'll set up a blitz and I'll say, we're going to do five calls a day, right? Why do I do that? Because I understand this formula right here. I'm going to take a work that I could do in five days. I'm going to condense it down to what? In one day. So instead of doing five calls, one call a day, five days, I'll do five calls in one day because I understand I need to create momentum within me. I need to create momentum, create the speed, the velocity in my activity, and then, and then include everybody else, and that's what creates momentum. That's why I don't just work within my organization, right? Because my organization is not bigger than the company. So if I just work with my organization, I'm only going to create a certain amount of mass. But if I work with the whole entire company, if you work with the entire company, if you work with everybody on in the company, in your city, in your state, in your country, you're going to create even more momentum. And when you do, everybody wins. It just won't be your organization that wins. Everybody will now get a chance to participate in the growth of your business, all right? So what creates momentum? The increase of the velocity and or mass, okay? So you can increase just the mass and momentum will go, or you can increase the velocity and momentum will go. Now, this is critical. What stops momentum? Please write this down. Write this down. And this is why I talk with Jason Brown all the time. I talk with Alex all the time. I talk with Yvonne all the time. I talk with Chris, Chris Viteri all the time about this. What stops momentum? Write this down. An outside force acting against it. So we have a direction. That direction was 100 chairmen. We've got a new direction. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have Alex Moore, and he's going to share with you what the new direction is. We already have the number of how many chairmen we're going to have, okay, by March 31st, 2019. And I believe it 1,000% that it's going to get done. So once that direction is set, the only thing that could stop us is an outside force that is acting against the direction in which that we set. All right? Now, what's, what's, what, this, watch this. The law of conservation, all right? Conservation of momentum. In the absence of an outside force, when two objects, me and you, all right, interact with each other, the total momentum stays the same. There's a domino effect. That's what's happened so far in iMarkets Live. There's been a domino effect. James, uh, Chris Terry gets in contact with Garrett Roberts. Garrett Roberts gets in contact with uh, uh, Jason, Jason Brown. Jason Brown gets in contact with uh, 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 Austin Gatti. Austin Gatti gets in contact with Brandon Board. There's a domino effect. And all these objects are hitting each other, and there's a domino effect. Jason Brown gets in contact with Alex Warren. Alex Warren gets in contact with Yvonne. Yvonne gets in contact with myself. There's a domino effect that's happening right now. Lawrence Young gets in contact with Jewel Tank. And Jewel Tank gets in contact with Tyler Bentley. And guess what? There's a domino effect that's taking place. Does that make sense? So I'm going to go back to something that's so critical here. What stops momentum is an outside force, outside force, outside force acting against it, all right? Acting against it. This is why you treat people good, whether they're part of your organization, whether they're part of another company. I don't go out, set out to hurt another company's business. I don't set out to go and recruit other people from other company. What happens is because we're so focused on what we're doing and we're creating results, those individuals call us. Those individuals reach out to us and say, hey, we see what you guys are doing. We want to be a part of it, okay? So, momentum. Let me say this again. The measure of velocity times the max, all right? But one thing that we need to create that direction is we need a target. So, what is your target? This is where belief now comes into play, all right? 
And now, I want to share this with you guys. All right? Now, your mind, okay? All right? Okay? Forget my artwork here. All right? This is you, okay? And you have a mind, not your brain, okay? Your mind. Your mind created the light bulb. Okay? All right? Your mind created uh, the iPhone. Okay? Your mind created cars. Your mind created uh, uh, jets. Okay? Your mind created homes. All right? Your mind created this speaker right here. All right? Any invention that you could possibly think of. All right? Your mind created this watch. Okay? Your mind created this, these pants I have on right now. Your mind created the shirt that you have on right now. This one mind, your mind. I'm, I'm trying to show you that you have the same mind of a Bill Gates. You have the same mind of an Oprah Winfrey. You've got the same mind of a Steve Jobs. You have the same mind of a Mark Zuckerberg. You have the same exact mind because they all have the same emotions. They have good emotions, they have bad emotions. They, they, they feel great sometimes, they don't feel great sometimes. You go to China, you go to Japan, you go to Nigeria, you go to Ghana, you go to Dubai, everybody has the same exact mind, all right? So your mind is powerful enough for you to become a chairman, all right? Your mind is powerful enough for you to become a chairman here in iMarkets Live. Because if your mind can create a car and a jet and homes and speakers and watches and guess what, it can definitely create a chairman. You have to have that belief system, ladies and gentlemen, that your mind can do anything. Now watch this. Your mind is what I call the navigational system for your life. All right, your mind is the navigational system for your life. If you were at a restaurant and you were done eating and you wanted to go home, the navigational system in your car, you have a navigational system in your car. Uh, if you don't, maybe you're praying for a navigational system in your car. You're not going to put your address to your home in that navigational system. Why? Because you already know how to get there, all right? You already know how to do it. The, the mind that created the iPhone did not know how they were going to create the iPhone. The mind that created these jets and these cars, they didn't know how they were going to do it. They knew that they will do it. They knew why they will do it, ladies and gentlemen. You don't know how you're going to get the chairman necessarily, right? You don't know where the people are going to come from. You don't know what the situations, what the events are going to be. You don't know who's going to go flat on 1,000. You don't know who's going to join your business, but you know why you need to go chairman. If you don't, then you need to know why, all right? You need to know that you will become a chairman because what happens is this. Most of us, are not using our navigational system because we already know how to get to where it is that we know how to get to. And what do I mean by that? If you already know how to make $5,000 a month, you don't need your navigational system. You don't need your mind for that because you already know how to make $5,000 a month. You need the navigational system once you don't know where you're going. So, this navigational system, this mind, as powerful as it is, as incredible as it is, if you don't give it a set of instructions, all right, if you don't give it a set of instructions, so the first thing that your mind needs is instructions. It needs direction, right? So once you go in your car and you put the, 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 the direction of the address, right, the destination, the goal, right, you put the goal of where it is that I want to go. I want to go to 11726, right? And the navigational system says, okay, this is where you want to go. Let me create, let me create the path that will get you there. 
on the way to you getting there, there are going to be stop lights. There are going to be stop signs. There are going to be left turns. There are going to be right turns. There will be people that will be alongside you on this path that will come alongside you on this path. People that you may meet, people that you may not meet. All right? But the navigational system knows all of it because you gave it the end destination. Most of us are not giving our mind the destination of where it is that we want it to go. All right? Because we're thinking, how are we going to get there? You don't know how, but the mind does. And what happens is when you give it that the destination that I am so happy and grateful now that I'm a chairman here with iMarkets Live by March 31st, by April 30th, by May 31st, by July 2nd, by December 31st, whatever date you put on it, now the mind goes to work. The mind goes to work and says, okay, what is the path to get there? Who do I need to put in her path? Who needs to come into his life? Who needs to be removed from her life in order for you to get to that destination? So we're talking about creating momentum. Once you've set the direction of where it is that you want to go, now you've got to increase what? The speed. First, you've got to increase the speed in which you are working. All right? You've got to rev it up a little bit. You've got to do a little bit more three-way calls. You've got to do a little bit more presentations. You've got to do a little bit more prospecting. You've got to do a little bit more reading. You've got to do a little bit more, right? A little bit more listening to audios. You've got to do a little bit more to create more velocity, more speed, right? And that matter starts with you. It starts with you as an individual, right? And then as you continue to do it, one other person is going to come on board with you too. Four, five, ten, twenty, a hundred, a thousand, ten thousand. Other people are going to come on board with you. And guess what? Now you create the momentum. Now you create a momentum in iMarket's life starts at a quarter of a million customers. So we've got a ways to go. And that's exciting for you because you get a chance to be the reason why we go into momentum. I started this business because of the timing of the business. I knew that 18 months later, you would still have a chance to be a part of the reason why we go into momentum. Because it takes about three years, ladies and gentlemen, about that to really create momentum in a company. It doesn't happen in six months. It doesn't happen in a year. It doesn't happen in 18 months. It usually takes about three years, three to five years, really, for a company to really go in there. A lot of times it may even take longer than that. I've seen company, it takes them 10, 15 years to go into momentum, all right? We are moving very, very fast right now, so it probably will happen within the next, within a three-year time frame, okay? Um, but you get a chance to be a part of that, all right? So now what I want you to do is I really want you to set the navigational system. I want you to set the address, okay? Set the address of where it is that you're going to go, all right? Now, once you've done that, all right, now what you've got to do is you've got to stay focused, all right? You've got to stay focused because when you get on that road, right, there's going to be other cars. There's going to be other lanes. You've got to stay in your own lane. Yeah, you may see someone else go platinum 1,000, or you may see someone else go chairman 10. That's not the time to now say, oh, well, what, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with my path? A lot of times, and, and don't feel bad, I used to do this a long time ago, I would feel bad when I saw someone else succeeding, right? When I was immature and I was young and I didn't really understand success. This is back in 2004, 2005, I would look at someone else rank advanced and I would say, well, what's wrong with me? I'm out here prospecting. I'm out here doing presentations. I'm out here promoting for events. Why is it that they're going executive director and I'm still over here, you know, struggling as a manager, right? But then when I realized, okay, wait a minute, this is years later, I realized, well, when it happens for one, God has no respect to a person, it's going to happen for me too. And we have an agreement. When I see something happen in someone else's life that's in close proximity to me, it's automatic that, guess what, what happened for them is going to happen for me as well, right? As long as I'm in a state of gratitude, as long as I'm in a state of celebration of that person, what I celebrate automatically comes into my life that moment, right? I was riding with Matt Rosie, had a chance to come down to Houston. We were talking, I said, man, 
I want you guys to go chairman 500. I need you guys to go chairman 500. Why? Because once it happens for them, it, it automatically happens for me. It's the same thing that happened when they went chairman 25, when they went chairman 50, chairman 100. I celebrated them. I, hey, man, fantastic. Go ahead and do your thing. Why? Because I understand. And that's how you got to do as well. Right? You got to stay focused, ladies and gentlemen. You can't get distracted by success of others. You can't get distracted by the failures of others. Some people look at you and say, well, well, that person didn't go chairman 10, or that person didn't go chairman 10 fast enough, or that person is still not a platinum 1,000, so guess what? It can't happen to me, too. The navigational system is set. The mind is set on where it is that you want it to go. It's going to get you there, because when I put my address in there, when I put the address of where I wanted to go, it didn't say, you're there right now. It said, hey, it's going to take seven minutes to get there. Hey, it's going to take 20 minutes to get there. Hey, it's going to take 50 minutes to get there. Write the vision. That's the direction. Make it plain. So who sees it will run. I make sure that the direction is in front of me at all times. I make sure that the goal is in front of me at all times. You've got to do that because who sees it will run. Though it may tarry, it's not going to tarry. It's going to point to time. It has no choice but to happen. It cannot lie. You've got to understand this process here. All right, that know that this mind, your mind, my mind created all of these things. It created this DVD right here. It created this home. It created this chandelier. It created this tile floors right here. It created uh, the stand that I'm, I'm doing this call on right now. It created this, this, uh, this foot chart. It created this little tiger right here that you can't see. It created this mirror right here. It created everything. It created everything that's in your home right now. Your mind did that. Your mind did that. The difference is the person that created the iPhone or the person that created the speaker gave the mind the instruction of this is what I want. This is what I want to create. This is what I want to do. I want to put a computer in everyone's home. That's what Bill Gates said. My goal is to put a computer in everyone's home. So he gave his mind a destination, didn't know how it was going to happen, and now today pretty much everybody got a computer in their home. Back then, the computer was the size of this house. <laughs> but guess what? Over through the process of time, it's evolved now. We've got computers in our back pocket now, pretty much with your cell phone. All right? So your mind did that. All right? So if your mind can do all of that, then your mind can definitely go chairman. Your mind can go platinum 1000. Your mind can go chairman 100. Your mind can go chairman 500. But are you giving it an instruction to go there? That's the question. And then are you staying focused? Are you staying focused or are you getting distracted? Oh, watch this. Let me go back to what my daughter taught me yesterday. You're creating momentum. She said the only thing that can stop you from accomplishing this goal is when an outside force, you paid attention to what was going on over here. You, you, you paid attention to what was going on over here. An outside force starts to act against it. You can't allow outside forces to act against it. You can't become an outside force while you're inside, right? That's why I tell these all the time, hey, no, no need to post about how great you are. No need to post about how much success you're having or how much success is happening. Stay humble, stay hungry. Why? Because guess what? Success, everybody, everybody doesn't love success. Everybody doesn't love the fact that you're winning. You think everybody's excited that I mark this life is winning at the level that we are? No, they're not, but guess what? If I'm good to you, if I'm appreciative of you, if I celebrate you, guess what? You can't say anything bad about me. You can't work against me, right? But when I come into competition with you, when I decide that I'm going to bury you, when I decide that I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that, now I'm inviting an outside force to now come against me. It, 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 I, didn't cre I didn't come up with this, all right? This is, this is, this, this is real, okay? An outside force. So you've got to make sure that you are not uh, giving anybody the opportunity to be that, all right? So momentum is the velocity and, and the matter, all right? The velocity times matter. But the velocity in which direction, though? You've got to give it the direction. The mind needs an instruction. It needs a focus. Next thing that it needs, it needs a hero, all right? Or you can call it a mentor, all right? A coach, all right? Your mind needs that. All right? Your mind needs that. My life changed forever when I got a chance to see a hero of mine at that time. It changed forever. I walked into his home. 
it looked like Cheesecake Factory. All right, I, that home is right around the corner for me. Back then, I was living with my dad. Back then, I had no money. Back then, I didn't have any money for even a driver's license. I didn't even have a driver's license. Car insurance? What do you mean by car insurance? We didn't, didn't have money for a driver's license. We used to drive on the grace of God. Hopefully, we didn't get stopped. That's how broke I was, right? Insurance? What insurance? Uh, registration? What registration? We didn't have that, right? <laughs> right? We didn't have any money for that, right? But guess what? I was able to come into that home, and I... And I saw the Bentley, and I and I saw the uh, I saw the Maserati, and I, and I saw the, the million dollar home, and I said, "Wow, man, this is incredible." So now my mind had a picture. I didn't know that was possible, but now my mind had a picture of what was possible. Right? I still do that today. Look at this. I've got a picture right now. It's in a frame. Right? I got a picture of a twenty thousand square foot house. Right? I don't, I don't know when that's going to happen. I don't know how that's going to happen. Doesn't really matter. Right? I've got the picture up there. One way or another, it's got to happen. Why? Because I'm giving my mind that destination that that's where we're going to be. We're going to be in a 20,000 plus square foot house. I don't know how it's going to happen. It doesn't really matter, but the mind does. And I'm on that path right now. Right? But I had to go visit that house. Guess what? It now gave me another picture. All right? So your mind means a hero. But in order to get that, you're going to need humility. All right? You're going to need the word humility to get that. All right. Once you get humble enough, I promise you the right coach, the right mentor will come into your life. All right. She'll come into your life. He'll come into your life and you'll be able to recognize it immediately. All right. So let's talk about uh, uh, iMarkets Live right now. I want to give that to you guys. I'm telling you, this thing works. The mind is so powerful. Your mind is powerful. It created all these things. It can definitely create chairman for you. Now we've got Las Vegas coming up. We've got the convention coming up. All roads are leading to there. March 16th to the 18th. This is the rise of IML, ladies and gentlemen. This is what's going to really start the growth of our company. You want to make sure that you've got 10 people there with you. Here's the number I want you to focus on. Do I have 10 people coming? Do I have 30 people coming? Do I have 100 people coming? Those three numbers right there are critical in order to win in the industry of network market. 10 people with you on your team, 30 people on your team there, or 100 people on your team there. You're going to see exponential growth in your business once you get that done, all right? So when you look at creating the momentum, creating the momentum, the speed, the velocity, times the matter, it all starts with activity, all right? It starts with activity. It starts with your belief system, and then it goes into your activity. What are the activities? What are the winning activities that allow me to go out and build a huge business? But if you don't believe, all right? If you don't believe, then you're not going to go out and do the work that's necessary. All right? Now, I'm going to go over a few things when it comes to belief in motion. All right? Belief in motion, and that motion is the activity. All right? The motion is the activity. So I'm going to put two columns up here. All right? We're going to get the results. The results is what we just talked about. You gave the end, right? The destination, that's the result. Whatever that goal is, is it platinum 1,000? Is it platinum 5,000? Is it chairman 10? Is it chairman 100? That's the result. The two other things that come after that is your belief, the belief system, okay, and the activity. Okay? Well, you say the activities, all right? The activities, the belief system. Now, what goes into my belief system? Two things. First, the four elements that impact. Write this down. Your belief system. All right? This is number one. Number two, these are the three elements that grow your belief system. Okay? Now, four elements that impact your belief system. Number one is environment. Number two is the people that are in your life. Number three, the information that you're downloading. Information that you listen to. Okay, guys, 
everything that you want to accomplish in this business can and was accomplished through the power of belief. Just, uh, just know everything that's ever been accomplished on this earth, the phone that you're watching me on right now, the computer that you're watching me on right now, was accomplished, was created through the power of belief. All right? And I'm going to show you how that's possible here. All right? So three elements that grow. The Actually, number four is life experience. All right. Now, three elements that grow your belief system. Words. Two, images. Okay. Three, emotions. Put a star by emotions. Okay. All right. So let's talk about the elements that impact your belief system and the elements that grow your belief system. Then I'm going to give you all the activities. Now, if this is not here, you're not going to do the activity. All right. If you do the activity without this in place, the activity cannot produce the results. You will do the activity in frustration. Okay. You will do the activity in frustration. So four elements that impact your belief system. Number one, environment. All right. Your environment has to be conducive for growth. All right. How do you create the environment that is conducive for growth? Let me give you a clue. Pictures. Pictures create an environment. All right. By coming to your home, the environment that's in your home a lot of times is created by the pictures that are in your home. The paintings that are in your home, the words that are in your home, the words that have been spoken in your home, things that have been experienced in your home. Okay? So, the environment that you want to create for yourself in your car, put pictures. So, in your car, you're surrounded by where it is that you want to go. In my car coming up, I would have pictures of the car that I wanted to drive, the dashboard was the dashboard of a Bentley. The dash, the, the steering wheel was the steering wheel of a Bentley. I had a picture of it right there. All right, All right. Why? Because I wanted to create an environment that was conducive for my future, not my present situation. Environment, a lot of times, is created by what it is that you're seeing all the time. All right? Here's another thing. Signs. Okay? Signs. All right? Uh, happy birthday. Uh, Angela Crookshank just had a birthday yesterday. And years ago, uh, she had a picture up. Uh, I think she's had that picture up now for years of a white Range Rover, okay? A white Range Rover. And she was able to pick that up. Her and her husband were able to pick that up uh, for her birthday. They were really close to Chairman 50. They set a goal that they were going to be at $50,000 a month. Years ago, they had a sign that they were going to be at $50,000 a month. And it's all but done right now, all right? So they created an environment, all right? Created an environment that was conducive to growth, all right? So pictures, signs, do that. All right. Now, when you do this, what's going to happen is you may have to change some of the people that are in your life. The people in your life have to be people that are celebrating where it is that you want to go and not tolerating you. All right. The people that are in your life. So you've got to do this self-evaluation right now. Who is in my life right now and how are they contributing to where it is that I want to go? All right. How are they contributing to, to the destination? How are they contributing to the address that I've set? For my navigational system, you've got to have the right people in your life, the right people that are speaking into your life, because you have auto suggestion, which is you speaking to you, and then you have hetero suggestion, which is what you hear from other people. Does that make sense? So you've got to have the right people in your circle. When you get the right people in your circle, and sometimes that's people coming into your life, and unfortunately or fortunately, it's also people leaving out of your life as well. And then this right here, information. Guys, you've got to have an incredible, incredible, when I say incredible, you got to have an incredible appetite for information. Books that you're reading, tapes that you're listening to over and 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 over. you got to do it day in and day out. It's a seven-day-a-week activity because I knew that I had to reprogram my mind. 
I had to get the junk out of my mind and get the right stuff in there. So I had to get the magic of believing in there. I've got to get, I had to get the, the strangest secret in there. I had to get the science of getting rich in there. I had to get the magic of thinking big in there. I had to get developing a leader within you in there. I had to get developing leaders around you in there. I get thinking we're rich in there. I had to download it over. I had to go to Tony Robbins events and download and download. Go to Bob Proctor events and download and download and download and download. Watch Zig Ziglar on YouTube and download and download and download because information goes in and it forms. All right, it goes in and it forms based on what it is that you said it. It forms that mind. All right, and then life experiences. So I would go and experience the things that I wanted. I would go experience the cars. I would go experience the homes because I wanted to create right here. I wanted to create the emotions. All right. Because once I experience it, there's going to be an emotion that's going to, be, that's going to carry with it. It's going to be a new comfort zone that's going to be created for you, all right? Three elements to grow your belief system. Word. Everything starts with word. What am I saying? All right? What am I saying? What am I saying? What am I saying? I'm so happy and grateful now. 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 We've got over 100 chairmen. Chairmen above in my IMO organization by March 31st, 2018. I'm so happy and grateful now. The velocity in which I'm saying that, now with the masses of people saying it, boom, it's happening right now. You understand that? That's what happened. There was a velocity in which people started saying 100 chairs, 100 chairs. And the coal company bought into that particular vision there. Everybody started speaking 100 chairs. All the chairs started speaking that we were going to have 100 chairs. And boom, we got it done. Ask her out there in the UK. She was the 100th chairman, all right? Powerful. So words, 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 words create, words create over and over again. Stop speaking what you see, speak what you want to see. Stop speaking what you see, speak what it is that you want to see. You get that? Words, images, images. You gotta have the index cards, right? You gotta have those signs up. You gotta have them up, guys. You gotta see it. Don't confirm his words with signs and wonders. So I've got the words, but now I've got to put the images in front of me. Where am I going? I've got to have a picture of success. I've got the picture of where my future is all the time. I can't look at where it is that I am right now. I gotta look at where it is that I'm going. Why is this, this is why it's so powerful that when other people succeed, that's an image. That's an image. When you see someone walking across the stage as a chairman 100, that's an image of what chairman 100 looks like. It's a visualization. You say, well, man, if it can happen for him, it can happen for me. If it can happen for her, it can happen for you. It boosts your belief system. Right? That image of watching someone get promoted to Chairman 10, watching someone get promoted to Chairman 100, and then the emotions. Guys, you got to have the emotion of being grateful. You got to have the emotion of being, uh, 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 being happy. You got to be excited. You got to be enthusiastic. You got to be positive no matter what. Gary McSwing, always positive. Always positive. Doesn't matter what's going on, he's always positive. When he was broke and going to the grocery store with $20, he was positive. He's positive right now every week. I know he's really positive now every single week, right? At Chairman 100, he, he's really positive every single week, but he was just as positive when he first got started. When he was right here in this home, running around in this home, and we were sitting right here at my dining table, and he said, David, hey, call me to the site. He said, David, look, uh, I'm, I'm going to need your card. I'm going to need your card to, to, to pay this 195 right? And guess what? I was. I said, hey, no problem. I was, I was glad to pay the 195 right? because I saw the excitement. I saw the enthusiasm. I knew what his belief system was. I knew he had been giving this information. I knew he'd been speaking. I knew that he'd been talking and saying, hey, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I know people around were looking like, man, you're crazy. You need to go back and get a job. You, you're an engineer. But he just kept believing. He kept believing. And then because he had set that address, the navigational system, the mind went to work and things started start to happen. Right start to come into his life. Right situations take place. Boom, now he's a chairman 100. If it can happen for him, it can happen for you, right? God has no respect for a person, right? So you got to have the emotions, guys. Be positive all the time. Be positive what's going on. Be positive all the time. Be excited all the time. Why? Because you know the end result. You set the right destination. Yeah, there might be a little bit of traffic. Maybe someone had an accident ahead of the time, right? And, and, and it says, well, you were going to get there in 40 minutes, but because of that accident, you may get there uh, in 55 minutes. So what? So what? The navigational system still has the end result. The navigational system, unless you change the address, and that's what most people do. Most people change the instructions that they give the navigational system. I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm a champion 10. Something happens in your business, you lose focus, no, the business doesn't work. I, I don't think I don't think we're going to get that done. I don't think this is really for me. Well, it was for you last week. It was, it was for you last month. Now all of a sudden it's not for you. Why? Because something happened on the outside 
that you that caused you to change what you were saying on the inside. Does that make sense? It caused your velocity to slow down. And once it caused your velocity to slow down, it caused your ability to attract other people that would help your momentum actually grow. So you gotta have the right emotions. All right? Guys, prospecting. Prospecting. Presenting. Promoting. These are the only activities that grow the business. Prospecting, constantly exposing your business to people. Exposure is everything. Write that down. Exposure is everything. Exposure is everything. I'm going to expose, 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 expose. Prospecting, right? Meeting new people. You don't have to necessarily meet them for business. Just get a chance to meet new people. That's what I did. I, I said, you know what? I'm going to stop prospecting for business. I just want to meet this person, get a chance to know this person. Prospecting. Prospecting, ladies and gentlemen, has to do with confidence. It has to do with the confidence. And guess what? You're not going to have any confidence if you don't have any belief. That's why I said it all works together. Does that make sense? Prospecting is all about confidence. If you're confident who it is that you are, guess what? Who doesn't want to meet you? Who doesn't want to do business with you? If you're confident about where it is that you're going, who doesn't want to go where it is that you're going? When you know you're going to become a millionaire, you know you're going to become a billionaire. Who's not going to want to come with you? Right? So prospecting is not so much about the technique, but what do I say to this person? Because it's so different. What I say to John is different what I say to Susan. Right? But the confidence that I have in the personal self-development, the information that I've downloaded over and over again, guess what, guys? Now I meet someone, I'm confident in myself. I can be comfortable in my own skin. I can say, hi, I'm going to the table. All right? That's my prospecting. Hi, my name is David. All right? And that's it. I give a smile. My name is Dave. Right? But the energy that I have, the impression of increase, and you'll learn that in science of getting rich. Whenever I do a presentation, I have the impression of increase. Whenever I meet someone, I have the impression of increase. I get the impression that I, I can help you get to where it is that you want to go. That's the impression that I have in my mind. And that impression is being impressed on their mind as well because we all have the same mind. So I'm giving the vibrations of, hey, I can help you. Hey, I've been where it is that you are right now. I can help you get there. You can give the impression that, hey, I know where I'm going. And you want to go there too. All right? So that's really what prospecting is all about. But you'll learn how to prospect by doing it, by failing over and over and over. But while you're failing, make sure you're diving into personal self-development, that you're listening to those books over and over and over again to build your confidence up, to build your self-image up. Because how you see yourself is exactly how other people are going to see you. All right? Now, presenting. Presenting is also through repetition. Right, presenting is also through repetition. Uh, repetition. So, when I started, when I was doing presentations, one on one, right? Much easier to do a one on one. It's just me and the other person at a Starbucks or Panera Bread, right? Or IHOP. I'll just I'll do a one on one over there. Then I did a two on one. Me, my my person that I recruited, and they would they would introduce me to that prospect. I do a two on one presentation. How did I learn how to do that? Well, because at one point I was the new recruit. I would go out with my upline and he would do a presentation for me and I would watch how he did the presentation. That's what you want to do right now. If you don't know how to do a presentation, go out with your platinum 1000, platinum 2000, channel 10 if you can and guess what? Watch how they do a presentation. That's how you learn. And then you want to go out there and start doing presentations. Everybody's not going to say yes to you. You don't want everybody to say yes to you right now. Imagine if a leader said yes to you right now and you're not really a great presenter and then they have a home meeting. They got a hundred people there and you don't know what to do. You don't know how to, you don't know how to talk to a hundred people. That's why you start with one, and you go to two, and you go to five, right? And then you get better, you get better, you get better, you get better. Let me give you a formula that I use for presenting. It's called HEM, okay? H-E-E-M. Number one, you humble yourself, right? You humble yourself first. Hey, guys, I want to welcome each and every one of you out. You get a chance to be here. You know, if you're, work, if you're working a full-time job, hey, you know, I work right now. I'm an engineer right now. Uh, but really excited about this opportunity. I've set some goals and where it is we're going to go. And we're pumped up about where we're going to be over the next six months, over the next 18 months. Looking forward to being able to fire my boss. How many of you would love to fire your boss? Right? See, I started that right there. So I don't have to be a millionaire to humble myself. You can humble yourself, you know, working a full-time job and building this business part-time. But I let you know where it is that I'm going. And guess what? People that are sitting in their home, they probably want to get there as well. They probably want to fire their boss in the next six months to 18 months. Does that make sense? 
all right? Then what I do is I educate and I entertain. Those are the two E's. I educate and I entertain. So I'm always going to have some humor in my presentation. So a lot of times you hear me present, I mean, you start off with, hey, I was born at a very young age, all right? People always laugh at that one, all right? I'm always going to figure out some joke, something. And I didn't come up with that joke. It's something I heard years ago. So you listen to some of the leaders and listen to some of the jokes that they actually crack. And you do the same exact thing. You educate. Why? How do you educate? Hey, it's a $5.3 trillion day industry. Uh, our banks, the hedge funds, financial institutions, they're all taking advantage of this wealth transfer happening every single day. Right? I mark this live right now as a company going on five years in business, fully operational, 120 plus countries, a completely debt free company. What am I doing? I'm educating them on iMarket, so I'm educating them on the foreign exchange market. Hey, five days a week, 24 hours a day, it's happening every single day. Guys, look at, look at this. You, you put your money in the bank, there's no interest on that. You might as well leave it in your mattress, you'll get the same amount of interest. See, that was educating, and that was humor. That was entertaining at the same time. Fine. And then the last is motivate to take action. Hey, listen, guys, we're going to empower. We're going to enrich, and we're going to educate one million customers by 2020. You want to be a part of that vision right there. I'm always motivating. I don't wait to the very end to motivate. I'm motivating from day one. The moment I walk in the room, I'm motivating to take action. So I humble myself first, entertain and educate. You, and you go back and forth between entertainment and educate, and you motivate and take action. All right? That's the key presentation right there. All right? Now, promoting for events. Promoting for events. This is the accelerator. This is right here, this is the velocity, right? The speed times the masses, the matter, right? Getting people to events, build belief. Guys, you got a chance. You got a shot. And that shot is the rise of IML. It is the fourth. You got 12 days. Don't give up on getting 10 people there. Don't give up on getting 30 people there. Don't give up on getting 100 people there. Don't give up on having six lines of business at the RISE Convention. Don't give up on having 12 lines of business, 18 lines of business. I'm going to have 40 separate lines of business at this event. 40 personal direct lines of business will be at the rise of IML. That's the goal that I set. That's the navigational system, the address that I gave it. And guess what? When I sit there at that event, I'm going to draw it out and I'm going to see that I have 40 separate lines of business there. Over a thousand people in our organization will be there. Okay? Don't give up on it because that's where belief is created, right? Because the environment is there, the right people are there. The right information is being shared, and you're going to experience something. You're going to watch a person go chairman 100. You're going to see the chairmans get their jackets. That's an experience, and it boosts your belief system. You're going to get the words. You're going to have the images. You're going to see something that you've never seen before, and the emotions are going to be there. I want you to cry at this event. I'll never forget my very first event that I went to, July 2004. It was in Las Vegas. I got on a 15-passenger van, me and 20 other people on a 15-passenger van, and we drove right here from Houston, Texas to Las Vegas. The whole time, this is how I am in the car, in, in, in the 15-passenger in the, in the van. But you know what I was doing? I was actually reading, I was actually reading the, the success, uh, the profiles the success book, right? I was reading the profile all of the success stories of people that were executive directors and you know people that were earning hundred thousand dollars a year. And back to me back then, that was just that was just a fortune. That was that, that might as well have been a billion dollars to me back then. And I'll never forget, I'm sitting at this event, and at the very end, I'm just crying. I'm just crying, I'm crying, I'm crying, I'm crying, I'm crying, I'm crying, I'm crying because I found it, I found what I was going to do with my life. I found the purpose. I found the difference that I was going to make in society. I hope you have that experience as well. I hope you move to tears, all right? 
I, I hope that you're, you're moved to stand on chairs. I hope that you're moved to jump around and celebrate like never before. I hope you break out of your shell. I hope you don't care about what other people think about you, that you're going to celebrate other people's success. You're going to celebrate your success even before it happens. You come with that type of energy. You come with that type of expectation. I promise you, what you've seen at IML so far, it's not even close to what's about to happen coming out of this event. Guys, don't give up on getting 10 people there. Don't give up on getting 30 people there. Don't give up on getting 100 people there. You can do it. It's 12 days left. You promote You promote all the way up until it's the 19th. That's when you stop promoting. The 16th, you keep promoting if you can get there. Get people in Vegas to come to the event, all right? Not at the hotel that you're staying in. Don't prospect everybody at the hotel, okay? I go to another hotel and prospect there, all right? But listen, this is going to be uh, an incredible event. I've already seen it. Um, I can tell you all the leaders already. Uh, we've got so many new Chairman 10s and 25s and 50s and 100s and 250s. Soon we're going to have our very first Chairman 500 uh, in the company. Um, Yvonne Toppy is going to be there. Monica Toppy is going to be there. Alex Moore is going to be there. You know Chris Terry is going to be there. Isis Bill Toy is going to be there. Uh, all the chairmen are going to be there. We're going to have great educators there. Traders are going to be there. IML TV on Friday. Live IML TV on Friday. We've got the VIP chairman dinner Friday night. We've got a general session uh, starting on uh, starting on, on Saturday. 9 a.m., you get there, you get there early, so you get a good seat, all right? If you're a gold, you're going to have special seating. If you're silver, special seating, bronze, special seating. If you get there early as possible, so you can get a close enough seat to, to the stage, okay? And then Sunday, I believe it's going to be from 9. We're going to go from 9 to 6, I believe, on Saturday. And then on Sunday, we're going to go from about 9 to 3. And then we've got the closing celebration. It's going to be absolutely incredible, guys. This is where belief rises. This is where IMO rises. All right, and then we already have Mace, we already have the rest of the year set up. We're going to announce where the next event is going to be. Uh, we're going to have another event set up for August, September, around that time. Another major company event that everybody's going to promote for. Uh, we already have an idea of where it's going to be. It's going to be absolutely incredible. And um, guys, I'm just so pumped up, so excited, grateful for what has happened in IML so far, but just in so much expectation for what's about to happen next. It, it's 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 going to be. Uh, ridiculous. We're starting a 90 day blitz right now, March, April, May. We're going to be on the road. Uh, I'll be in South Africa. Uh, I'll be uh, in London. I'll be in Nigeria. I'll be in Trinidad. Uh, I'll be in, uh, I'm probably more likely to go to Jamaica uh, as well. I mean, we're going to be all over the country. We'll be in Atlanta. We'll be in New York. We'll be I mean, in Dallas. I mean, we're going to be all over the place. And every leader is doing the same exact thing. I'll be in Costa Rica, uh, Ecuador, Colombia. Panama, Peru, I mean, we're going to be hitting this thing extremely hard, and we're doing that because we got the belief. We got the belief on our side. We got the time on our side. We got the grace of God with us. We've got you, all right? We've got you, we've got you, we've got you understanding this information here. This thing is going to be absolutely incredible. Appreciate you guys so much. If you're ready to rock and roll, I want you to type in there 777. All right, type in the chat right now, 777. We're going to go ahead and celebrate as we close this call out here. It's been absolutely incredible. Let's rock and roll, 777. Let me go ahead and get our music back rolling. I think I love beautiful people, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Turn my Bluetooth here. Your mind created this one, too. Let's go. 777, type it in there. Let's rock and roll. Let's go.
seven, seven.